Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. In this video, we shall learn about obtaining position circle by high altitude celestial observations. Now, please remember this method is applicable only to the students of higher grades, entry level students and operational level students. If they wish, they may skip this video and may refer to it as and when they reach the higher grades in their profession. The celestial position lines that we learned to plot in video on position lines are a small part of the position circle drawn with geographical position of the body as the center and the true zenith distance or the TZD as the radius. When observations do not involve high altitude, the TZD is reasonably large so the curvature of the circumference of the circle becomes lesser and hence the straight line PLs plotted earlier represented only a small arc of the PC with a large radius. In case of high altitude observations, the TZD or the true zenith distance becomes small. In such cases, the TZD that is radius of the position circle become small and then a part of that arc cannot be considered as a straight line. In such cases, we obtain a position circle. And how do we draw the position circle? We draw the position circle with geographical position of the body as the center and the TZD to zenith distance in minutes as the radius. How do we get the geographical position of the body or the coordinates of the geographical position? Now the latitude of the geographical position is the same as the declination of the celestial body both in magnitude and the name north or south. As far as the longitude of the GP is concerned, it depends on GHA. If the GHA of the body is less than 180, then the longitude is equal to the longitude of the GP is equal to the GHA and named west. However, if the GHA is greater than 180, then the longitude of the GP is equal to 360 degrees minus GHA and in this case named east and this is how we get the longitude of the GP. Please remember it if you wish to use this method. TZD we all know is always 90 minus altitude. Now let's see how we draw this circle taking this small example. A star X with a declination 51 degrees 21 minutes north and GHA of 006 degrees 31 minutes was used for celestial observation. The true altitude was observed to be 89 degrees 54.6 minutes draw the vessel's position circle or position line at the time of this observation. Obviously, as it's a case of high altitude, we cannot get a celestial PL. It has to be a position circle. So first we get the GP of the body. Now the GP of the body would be, you can see the declination of the star is 51 degrees 21 minutes north. So GP of the star becomes 51 degrees 21 minutes north. GHA of the star is less than 180. So in this case, the longitude of the GP will be same as the GHA and the name of the longitude shall be west. So longitude of the GP becomes 6 degrees 31 minutes west. If the true altitude is given to us, then the TZD becomes 90 minus 89 degrees 54.6 minutes. That is 5.4 minutes. Now we draw a position circle with GP as the center and TZD is the radius. You can see in this, here is the GP of the body. This is the longitude of the GP and this is the latitude of the GP. With GP as the center and 5.4 miles as the radius, we draw a circle and this becomes the position circle in this particular case. I hope uh, this has been of some value to you. Please feel free to send your feedback on marinegurukul at gmail.com.
If you need any further support from us, please do feel free to reach us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice time. Bye-bye.